Good evening, everyone. My name is Ron. Welcome to Victims Anonymous. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Hi, Don. Would anyone like to volunteer to go first? Maybe tell us who you are and why you're here this evening. Alex, how about you? I think I'm good, Dan. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else like to go? I'll go. Uh, I'm Dave. Hi, Hi Dave. 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 I just celebrated 45 days of being crime free. Good for you. Good. Good for you. My truck was broken into. I left it unlocked. They got my, my iPad and my garage door open. How did that make you feel, Dave? It made me feel terrible. I, I felt violated, you know? And, and it all could have been avoided if I'd have just left it locked. Well, that's okay. This is a judgment-free zone. No one is here to judge. We're going to help each other. Anyone else like to share? I'll go next. Hi, I'm Shannon. Hi, Hi Shannon. Shannon. And I was taken by an email scam. <laughs> you fell for one of those things? Alex. Please, this is a judgment-free zone. No one is here to judge. Everyone is here Sorry to help about each other. Okay. Those are all out of Nigeria, you know. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know those scams come from all over the world these days. Tell us, how did that make you feel knowing that the perpetrator got that much money from you? It made me feel bad and angry. Um, I mean, I really thought it was a good deal, and I was going to make a ton of money. I see. Thank you for sharing with us. Alex, are you ready to share with us? Uh, I think I'm still good, Bob. Alex, it's okay to pass. It's okay not to share your feelings with us. We're all here to help each other, but we cannot help you until you're ready to help yourself. Pass. Debbie, how about you? Would you like to share with us? Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Debbie. Hi, Hi Debbie. 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 I was at the grocery store, store a couple weeks ago, and I left my purse in the grocery cart while I was taking some things off the shelf and my wallet got stolen. Hmm. And in my wallet, I have my credit cards, I've got my checkbook, and my driver's license. And my driver's license has my address on it. Did you notify the sheriff's office? Yes, yes I did, and they have done everything they can. But the suspects have, um, have all my information, they have my address and everything. Debbie, tell us, how does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel horrible and, 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 and afraid. I, I stay awake every night, just wondering, are they going to come to my house and break in and, and victimize me even more? Well, Debbie, that's a good point. Being a victim makes all of us feel vulnerable and betrayed. Hello, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office, and you don't have to be crime's next victim. There is no doubt that criminals do everything they can to victimize us in every way they can. That's why it's so important for us to take a few extra seconds to lock our doors, close our garages, learn how to defend ourselves against scams, and even keep a close and watchful eye on our wallets and purse when shopping. To avoid becoming crime's next victim, we have to do everything we can to avoid helping the perpetrator find an easy target. For more information on how to protect yourself, your family, your home, and your business, please visit our website at brevardsheriff.com. The last thing we want is for this to be you. Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm a victim. Hi, Hi Alex. Alex. 